Hi everyone and welcome to the third and final part of the duckling tutorial. Thank you for joining me for this long and without further ado let's just get started. I'm not too sure how long this is going to take because there's only a small amount left to do but I do find the grass the most difficult part of a drawing. So I'm just going to play it by ear and just take a bit at a time, see how it goes and yeah, I don't know exactly how I'm going to go about it just yet, but I do like my drawings to look quite like natural and faded out and stuff when it comes to like little bits of the environment like this. So we'll see how it goes, but first things first, I'm going to take the HB and I'm just going to go over this leg and just sort of map in where that is. Oh, I forgot to mention that everything you need to know will be listed in the description, so if there's anything that you need, you know where to look. Yeah, I hope that you're all good. It's been so hot this week, I'm just shading it in. It's been so hot this week, but today it's much cooler, so I'm very happy about that. Just going around this little bit of the flower, these petals so that I don't lose the shape of them. And then I'm just gonna bring this bottom bit of the leg down. Like that. And just colouring, well, shading this bottom bit. Just sort of like fades into nothing because all the grass then like sits on top of it. I'll try now the 4B to make that darker. On the photo the actual leg is a lot darker than the body so it needs to be quite dark. And I might just blend a few bits upwards to sort of feather it out a little bit. So sort of make it look like the lighter bit is sat on top of the, the leg. And I'm just going over and darkening up what we've already done. But yeah, it was like 30 odd degrees the other day, which for England that is hot. We're not used to that. So I'm making the most of it today now that it's back to normal. Just blending that in. Trying to get rid of the graininess. This paper is definitely grainier than it usually is. They've changed it, so. Just figuring out how to get it as smooth as possible. Okay. I think now what I might do is I might add some details to this flower. So I am just going to dab away any of like the smudging or the harsh lines. And using the HB I'm just going to go in and add some tiny little details. You can't see all that much on the picture but I think this is one of them situations where you kind of have to put a bit more in than you can see because otherwise it's just going to look a bit like, like there's not really anything there. So I'm just going in and adding some little sort of petal shapes. I might end up going in and like dabbing it away in places but for now I think I just want to get the shape down. So just pay attention to where those petals are. It's like a dark bit here. I'm 
I might just add a little bit of shit heading through. Right, I think before I go any further, I'm going to do this middle bit. Then I can see exactly how dark I need to go with the rest of it. So I'm just going to sort of like shade over that a little bit. Move it out, then I'm going to add some 4B and just sort of like add a little bit to the bottom, just tiny little strokes, it's blending upwards, then a tiny bit through like the middle bit. Then I think I will just ever so slightly lighten up those petals a little bit. It just helps to like really blend it out and soften it up a bit. It's just hard getting enough detail without it looking too dark for something like this so I'm just going to keep going over it with the HB and adding little details in. And then blending it out if necessary with the eraser. I'm just going to carry on bringing these petals round. Sort of just like drawing round them. But very so lightly. Add a bit more around here. You kind of just have to exaggerate what you can see a little bit more for this because otherwise you would not be able to see it very well. Especially because we're not doing like the dark background behind it. I just blend a bit more of that through the middle bit. And then I'm going to do this stem coming down here. I mean, you could always add like a little bit of shading behind the flower. To sort of just make it stand out a bit more. I'll do that and see how it looks. It might look a bit weird, but... Just really lightly, just adding a bit of shading behind. Might be a case of having a bit more shading at the bottom than the top. So I'm just going to dab away a little bit at the top with the eraser. Mm, quite nice. And then I'm going to start adding in some of these little bits of grass. Just using the HB. Down here. 
to add a little bit more shading underneath that flower just to really make it stand out. center part. Just add a bit more of a 3D effect. Then I'm going to use the 4B and just darken up this stem. And bottom of that middle bit again. Okay, and I'm just going to add a bit more of the shading with the HB. Sort of like acting as like a bit of a base colour. Well, not a colour. I keep saying that. It's because I'm used to doing colour pencil. Acting as like a bit of a, a base to add the grass on top of. Just going to bring it across. Really lightly. always just sort of use the eraser to like soften it up and then I'm going to use the HP to start adding some more little sort of grass strands and I'm just bringing it down to sort of like the bottom of that shading that we've added it just adds like a bit of a, a background for you to add it on top of that makes sense. So you're not adding it like on pure white. Oh, bit of the pencil's just chipped off. <laughs> right, I'm gonna carry on adding some more grass. There are some like lighter bits as well, so I'm just gonna try and vary it up a little bit, adding some darker strands and then sort of like drawing around some lighter ones. But you can always use the eraser and like go in and sort of take out any lighter bits if that's easier. So for example, I might take a lighter strand out on top of that leg with the Tomboy eraser. Just to keep it looking interesting and more natural. I actually just take out that shading that I did above the flower as much as possible. I think I'd rather it fade out into like nothing. I don't know, I might end up changing my mind. I'm, I'm always dead like unsure when I do stuff like this. I play around with it a lot. I'm just going to add some 8B. On top of the leg, just to darken it up. I want it to be a lot darker. So let me just fade it out a bit. And then I'm just going to carry on adding some little grass strands sort of to the right here. As I get further out I'll probably add less so that it sort of like blends out a little bit. Do some going that way. So 
of just like trying to follow the picture but also kind of just like making it up because it's it is hard to see then I'm going to use the 4B and just darken up some of these some of these little bits Going underneath that little daisy. And might just slightly darken up that lighter strand a little bit. Don't want it to be too light. Just want it to be a bit lighter than the leg. And then darken up some of these little strands. Darken up the daisy stem. Adding a little bit more depth in there. That's looking nice. I might add a few more bits of the HB pencil just to create a little bit more interest. Bring it down a little bit. And then I'm going to carry on with this leg here. So I'm going to just Use the HB, bringing it down. Just colouring over that leg. Bring it down to about there. Then I'm going to use the 4B. Start darkening that up. Then I'm going to use the eight B. Making that really dark. And then back to the 4B, I'm just gonna do some little little bits coming upwards just to again make it look like the lighter fluff is sat on top of the leg. Like that. And I might just add a little bit more shading into that fur, well, the feathers, um, just to bring that all together a bit more. It's better. And I might add a bit of 6B just to the bottom. Blending upwards. Just trying to make the shape a bit nicer. Just bringing it across. Might even do some slightly longer little pieces coming down with the HB. It's just 
soften it up a little bit. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. And then I'm going to carry on adding this sort of like background bit of shading. Oh, that was a bit, a bit dark with the HB. So really softly, not like I did there. Just bring it across. A bit easier if you hold your pencil like a bit higher up rather than really close. And I might just sort of tidy the shape up a bit with the eraser, sort of like soften it up a tad. And then I'm going to start adding some more grass stem stems. And then I'm going to start adding some more little pieces of grass. Again, I'm trying to follow the picture, but also making it up a little bit. As long as you've got like variation in the direction of the strands, it'll look more natural. And then here, it's like a strand that kind of like comes across like this, but I need to lighten up the bit that sits on top of the leg. So I'm just going to use the eraser and just lift a bit of that pencil off like that. And then I'm just going to go back over it again with the HB to bring it together a bit more. more colour off. That's better. And then do some little bits around here. Might do a few slightly longer ones. And then before I go any further, I'm just going to use the 4B to darken up underneath this flower on this left side. It's creating a bit more depth. And then I might start darkening up some of these grass strands. That one's very dark. And I like some of these like in the background, these ones that are sitting further behind are darker than the ones sat in front. But if you are struggling, like I said before, just sort of draw them all in and then just lift off some lighter ones with the eraser. And 
that I'll probably end up doing that in areas to be fair. Might add a bit more HB just to like fill it out a little bit. And I'm just going to add a bit more definition to this bit. That's where the like little background bit of shading helps because it just sort of like fills it in a bit. Makes it a bit less bare. Might just add a little bit more through here. And a bit more 4B, gonna darken up some more of these little strands. See how it just sort of looks like there's all loads of different like little bits of grass in there. Like I said, you can go in and just sort of like lighten up some little bits in the front. And then I'm just gonna Go around that a tiny bit of the HB. I just like it to look quite like I like there to be a bit of contrast. Okay, and then I'm gonna carry on adding some of that like shading in the background to this left side. And then I'm just gonna use the eraser to like blend it out a bit and then just add some more little strands of grass with the HB. Doing them in different directions, like crossing them over. Doing that like, longer one. Then as I get to this side, I'm just going to sort of like do them like fewer and further between to like fade them out a bit. And I'm going to do the same, sort of like around here. I feel like I've not quite got enough little sort of lighter ones to fade it out. I just add a little bit more of that sort of background shading in there. bit more 4B, just for a few extra darker little strands. Darken up some of these bits. Go underneath that long strand. And add a little bit through here. Darken up some of these. I'm 
might just go around some of these lighter ones a little bit. And I just go over that daisy bit. I just sort, of sh sort the shape of that leg out a bit too. Just add a tiny bit of detail between these petals with the HB. Just sort of like in the centre, coming out from the centre. So it still fades out into nothing. And then, let's see, I might just add a bit more on the left here. Just sort of looking for anywhere that could do with a bit more going on. Could always use the eraser just to like soften up the edges of the grass and just like blend it out a bit. I don't like it to look too harsh you see, I like it to look nice and soft. And then it doesn't overpower the actual subject which is the duckling. Just going to tidy up a little bit in there between those legs. I've accidentally lifted a bit of colour off there. And I might just add a little bit more. Maybe a little bit, a bit more strands with the 4B. I might add a tiny bit of shade in between these two petals of the HB just to like blend that in a bit. Okay, I might just zoom you out. I think I'm not far off like done with that really. I'm quite happy. I'll just zoom you out so that you can see the piece as a whole. There we go, so that's how it's looking. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. What I might do is, I might just refine it a little bit. Let's add some, yes I use. Let's use some 4B. I'm just gonna add, there's like a bit that I've missed on the face. So like a bit that comes down here. Trying to get the shape of it right. It's a bit better, and I might just add a little bit more around here. And I might just dab away a little bit of the pencil on the left side of the head. Just to lighten it up a little bit. That's nice. And a little bit on this right side. And maybe a little bit around here. Just softens it up really nicely. Maybe a bit underneath the beak. Just soften that up. Then I might just add a little bit more 4B. Just to like blend this bit out and make it nice and smooth. It's not usually this grainy, it's the new texture of the Fabriano, which is a bit annoying, but I 
I think it still looks good. leave it there you know I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out I hope you've enjoyed this little duckling tutorial let me know if you'd like more sort of smaller videos like this like three part tutorials that don't take 10 plus hours to do so now not everyone will want to sit and like spend that long on a drawing especially if you're just starting out so yeah let me know if you'd like more stuff like this I might just Soften up that left side a little bit more. Can't resist. There we go. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me for this tutorial. Um, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this. And I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye for now.